What is up everybody, it's Homies of Mars back in today with another video. And today I want to go ahead and add on to my series of um, like armor versus armor, which is going to be the new one now, because today I'm doing Hydra versus uh, Coral Silk. So today is going to be my guide on Hydra skin versus Coral Silk armor, because they're pretty much almost exactly the same, but they're not. There's, there's a big difference in it whenever I tell you. Um, because when you look at uh, Coral Silk, it's going to have 16 defense, 4 dexterity, and 3 speed. And then Hydra has 17 defense, which is one more defense than the Coral Silk. And then it has 5 dexterity, which is one more dexterity than the Coral Silk. But it has no speed bonus or anything at all. It's just only two stats. So a lot of people think it'd be cool to have, you know, the more stats, the better, right? The more stat bonuses you have on something must make it seem pretty more, I mean, more a lot, a lot better than the other thing, right? Well, here's the thing. Three speed isn't going to be that much unless you plan on using a, you know, a, a speed ring, like an exalted speed ring. That, that'd be stupid. But, you know, if you want to make sure you want to get the max, the most speed in the game on a leather class, then uh, go ahead and make a ninja, put coral silk on him and put an extra speed ring on him, and then you'll get the fastest speed in the game. That'd be pretty hilarious. But, Anyways, back to what I was saying. What what classes should you use Hydra on, and what classes should you use Coral Silk on? All right. Well, Coral Silk. There's only going to be two classes that I would personally put it on, and that is the Huntress, just because I would like the Coral Silk uh, Coral set. So like Coral Bow, Coral Trap, Coral Silk Armor, and I'm not even gonna go ahead and mention the Coral Ring. It's a piece of crap, but. Yeah, so basically to match, that's the first reason. And the other reason I'd use Coral Silk is putting it on a ninja. Because on a ninja, whenever you uh, go speedy with your ability, um, it basically takes your speed and doubles it. So whenever you have that three speed bonus to your speed on the ninja, whenever you go speedy, that three speed bonus turns into a six speed bonus. So I think the ninja max at 60 speed. So when you take 63 speed, with you know if you're wearing coral silk, multiply that by two. That is a grand total of 126. So that means you have six more speed than you would normally have with just a normal 60 speed. So um, coral silk would actually be more useful on that, in my opinion. There, but then I also say sometimes that the you know, the ninja is also very you know squishy and it's pretty close range for how much you know how much it can take damage a lot and it's hard to recover with a ninja so sometimes I'd recommend Hydra just because it has that extra defense but you know ninja doesn't really need dexterity because it has a crap ton of it anyways but anyways back to what I was talking about Hydra again is going to be useful on any other class um, you know you can even use Hydra on the Huntress and the Ninja um, it's kind of interchangeable, but I would never recommend a Coral Silk on any other class um, other than the Ninja and the Huntress. And some people would argue that um, Coral Silk would be nice on a Rogue, but personally, I I don't really I I'd take Hydra for um, the Rogue instead of Coral Silk. But anyways, guys, that is my recommendations, and uh, I did want to add this in. I usually add something extra. And that is the uh, spectral cloth armor. Spectral cloth, in my opinion, is a piece of crap. It's pretty much useless. Um, I wouldn't even use it on the trickster to uh, make it a set. You know, the little Davies set and whatever. It's crap. But if you had to use the spectral cloth armor um, in a situa situation, I would only use spectral cloth on a huntress or an archer with a doom bow. Um, and I would only use it while I'm god farming, just so you can get that three extra attack. Because three extra attack goes a long way on the doom bow. So that is the only reason I use spectral cloth. But other than that, spectral cloth can just—I'd almost drop it on the ground. I might actually, if I ever get spectral cloth, I might actually drop it on the ground. I'm—I'm I'm serious, <laughs> unless I had a buyer right there in front of me. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I will be uploading another video either today or tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, just be watching out for that if it does, and uh, I will see you guys later.